Hi everyone. Um, I've been thinking a lot about Christmas gifts and things this week. So I'm just going to show you another simple but really nice gift you can make. So here's just a simple mirror I bought from the pan shop again. So nice cost effective. It has got a little hanging hook on the back. So just bear that in mind, that's going to be the top. So what we're going to be using today is the patina paste from Prima. So you get a blue, a mint green, and then the brass effect. So the idea is that you start by layering the blue and the mint green, which are thicker and grainier paste and then you add effects at the end with the brass paste and i would recommend using a more firmer brush and one that is not your really expensive brush and it's important to wash this off as soon as possible as you're going to damage your brush so we're going to start oops with the blue and the green so I'll just show you inside you can see it's very grainy can't see it so much in this one see so we'll begin by layering these up now this has already been painted or finished so I don't need to apply any gesso in this case but if you've got just a plain wet surface I would recommend giving it a coat of gesso either in white or black is fine and so it's this kind of stippling effect and you're just layering up the blue and green to begin with And try and not obviously get it on the mirror itself. So we're just going along and you want a good texture so you don't you don't have to be too heavy handed but do put some on there and you can mix these together. or not you can just go with one color and when you're happy with a layer dry that and then you can go back in with another layer so i'll do a piece to show you and then i'll go off camera and finish So once dry, these are permanent. And these are the same idea as the rust paint sets that we have. So I'm happy with that section. So I'll just dry it and then I'll show you how another layer looks. I'm just drying it with a heat gun. Obviously the amount you've applied will change how long this takes to dry. It doesn't take too long to dry unless you've got a really thick layer. So that's touch dry now, so I'll go back in. And then you can really see the layers start to build up once you start doing this. So 
you can see how the blue is looking darker now where I've dried that bottom layer. If you can have a separate paintbrush for each colour, that might be a good idea. So this is the idea of what we're looking for. So I'm going to go off camera now and finish the blue-green layer and I'll come back and we'll look at the brass.